Seems you just woke up too. Morning. Do you sleep okay? Yeah. I slept alright. Better because you were there, but. I slept alright. Yeah, before I met you, um. When I would go to bed, I would just cuddle the body pillow over there because I didn't have any one of my own so I just cuddled that until I fell asleep but the first night that I brought you home it was different it's like something had changed I could finally sleep without crying myself to sleep for once and that was like the biggest relief ever because I never really had anyone like that anyone that I had known they've you know without getting too deep into it they've either used me or said I wasn't good enough, so they left, so, I don't know, you're, you're just the first one that, that stayed, so I, I, I can't thank you enough for that, so thank you for staying. I know we've only known each other for like a day, but it still means a lot that you even stayed the night. So, um, again... Thank you. Uh, you hungry for some breakfast? I can go make us some. You can stay in bed here and then I can go make us breakfast. Wouldn't want your pretty ass to have to get out of bed. Alright, alright. Okay, we can stay in bed. It's the longest anyone's ever kissed me. See something you like? <laughs> I think so. Because I know in front of me there's something that I like. It's you. You're the best thing that could have come out of that party. I easily could have gone home sad and alone like I usually do when I go home from parties. But this time is different. This time I had you. And, uh, to be able to bring home a really cute guy like yourself, I'd say it's an accomplishment for me. A huge accomplishment. You know, I know I've only known you for a day, but I've really come to like you. I knew when I saw you standing all shy in the corner of the party that I think we'd be a perfect match. And I think our chemistry with the way that we work with each other really shows that. Don't you think? You know, it's funny, because the night before I went to the party, I had actually written a song about falling in love with the perfect person. 
And I just think it's really ironic that I met you at that party that night, the night that I finished writing that song. I had just written the last lyric in my phone before I walked over to you. And it's even funnier because the song talked about me finding them at a local party that my friend invited me to. And I just think that it's really funny that that's actually how we met. I'm actually really happy that that's how we met. Look, I'm just going to come off as an idiot and just say it anyway. Uh, I'm happy I met you, okay? In this very short time that I've known you, you've made me incredibly happy. So, thank you. And I was thinking, if you're down for it, um, maybe sometime down the road, if you let me, I could ask you out. Wait, wait, I'm, I'm supposed to be asking you how, you can't, you can't, you, of course I'll date you, of course I will. Well, how about... You say that once we get all showered up and we eat, we go on our first official date. How does that sound? I'd love to. Well, come on, sleepyhead. We got a lot to do today, supposedly. Come on. <laughs>